just want to remind viewers of what you said to Nick Ferrari on LBC shortly after uh, the October the 7th catastrophe. Let's have a look. I'm very clear. Israel must have that, does have that right to defend herself. Um, and Hamas bears responsibility. A siege is appropriate, cutting off power, cutting off water. Well, I think that Israel does have that right. It is an ongoing situation. Cutting Ooh. off water, cutting off power. Now, you lost a lot well, of can I just, support uh, I'm when really you said that. Uh, I'm really glad you played the whole clip, so thank you for that, because... When I said does have that right, yes. I was referring to the right to self-defence. So we'd, I was having a conversation about self-defence. Mm -hmm. I was not suggesting they had the right to cut off water or food. They do not have that right. I managed to have the opportunity to clarify that um, pretty quickly what afterwards. Should... I'm really glad you played the whole clip. So thank you for that. The whole clip doesn't make it any better, Keir. I mean, this guy is really good at lying, right? He's clearly got a lot of experience, not just going back to the start of his political career, 2015, decades. This is real pedigree. Uh, on the question of whether a siege and cutting of water and power was appropriate, you clearly said, quote, I think that Israel does have that right. And you absolutely did not clarify those remarks quickly afterwards. Now, the LBC interview was on the 11th of October last year, days before the UN had already clarified that cutting off water and electricity to civilian populations is against international law. And yet, in the days after your LBC appearance, you arranged this gear. Do you think cutting off food, water and electricity is within international law? I think that Israel has an absolute right to defend itself That's against terrorism. That's not the question I asked. It is an answer to the question that, that you've asked, and I think it's an appropriate one at this time. The UN Human Rights Commissioner says the imposition of sieges that endanger the lives of civilians is prohibited under international humanitarian law. Keir Starmer, your leader, a human rights lawyer, says Israel does have the right to impose a siege. Who is right? In situations of war, where there are allegations of war crimes, that must ultimately be a matter for the UN and its agencies no. and for the ICC. No. I'm sorry, Victoria, that is the case. Keir Starmer says Israel has a right to impose a siege. I don't... Who is right? Keir Starmer has said right from the beginning that any war, it's important that democracies uphold the rules-based order and that that must be within international law. Do you think Israel breached international law by cutting off power and water supplies? Look, I I'm not going to sit in your studio and grandstand and tell you that I I'm going to make big pronouncements about what Israel is and isn't doing. So Keir Starmer, if you quickly clarified your remarks, why were shadow ministers going on the telly and still refusing to say that Israel was in breach of international law? Instead, they were dodging the question, as were you when you gave this interview later on the very same day that you appeared on LBC. Keir Starmer, you've said that Israel has the right to defend itself. Does that include cutting off food, water, power to Gaza? Well, what we've seen is appalling and shocking acts of terrorism, the murder of men, women, children um, by Hamas. And so responsibility lies with Hamas and Israel has the right to uh, defend herself and take action in relation to the ongoing hostage situation. Obviously, this is within the framework of international law. But, but does that include cutting off food, water, fuel to Gaza, where, as we know, hundreds of thousands of civilians are living? I, I think that um, international law matters and everything should be done in accordance with international law. You didn't clarify those remarks there either. And you still refuse to say that Israel has actually broken any international laws at all. 